Hello and welcome to Sydney, the home of the 2008 Apex Australian Teenage Fashion Awards, the national final. Over the past few months, our designers have been modifying and perfecting their designs, competing in regional and state finals. Through heartache, tears and joyous occasions, we have brought the top young designers from each state to compete in this year's national final. As a special addition to the judging panel this week, we welcome Mark Antonio. You may know Mark from this year's Project Runway. Being a leading designer in the industry, Mark will be able to offer these young designers a true industry perspective as well as an insider knowledge which could propel them well into the future. So let's head over to Fox Studios and meet Mark with our busily preparing for tonight's show. Have you got what it takes to become the next young designer of the year? For 60 young hopefuls, this dream may become a reality. After a year-long search involving over 800 potential contestants, you are about to see the best young talent that Australia has to offer. Welcome to the experience of a lifetime. Welcome to the Apex Australian Teenage Fashion Awards. All the glamour of Frederick Runway, all the fun of Frederick Runway. This is a competition that will change their lives. This is a competition that will decide their futures. Casual wear. Helene Herbert from South Australia. Helene's garment is inspired by the colourful characteristics of lollies and the happiness they present. The contrasting fabric sewn into strips on the bodice creates interest and complements the lines and angles of the bodice. Hannah Emerson from Western Australia. Hannah has designed this outfit as a complete ensemble to carry a person from morning to night on a warm summer's day. The dress is a crisp, backless design with use of texture and attention to detail to take it one step away from streetwear. Hannah McMullen from Victoria. The inspiration for these garments comes from using recycled fabric in a way that they were not originally intended. The jacket is made from old upholstery fabric found at a local upholsterer and was once a pair of armchairs. Jennifer Lamont from Tasmania. Jennifer's garment is a cream and black knee-length silk dress. The fitted bodice is decorated with cream lace. The black scarf features a black ruffle trim and completes Jennifer's outfit beautifully. Elmi Van Wistenhuizen from Queensland. Elmi was inspired by the beautiful animals of Africa and all the different animal printed materials that are available in the shops. Her garment is a casual dress made out of soft black cotton knit material with a leopard print bodice, pocket and two belts. Jessica Bruce from New South Wales. Jessica has named her garment Penny Lane, inspired by the 1970s London scene where youth culture experimented with natural fibres and shock factor garments. The textiles used in this outfit were chosen to reflect the interest in nature of the time. Paris Colbertson of South Australia. This dress was inspired by a picture of a dress worn by Gwen Stefani. The fully lined top of the dress is a halter neck 
sweetheart, finished with rows of frills gathered separately and sewn into the front side seams of the top's panels. Simone Moore from Victoria. Simone designed a garment to suit any season and is simple yet stylish enough to be dressed up or down to suit any occasion. The dress has a sleeveless fitted bodice with a high rounded neckline which sips up the length of the back. Amber Williams from New South Wales. This baby doll style dress was designed for casual summer occasions. The colours give a happy feel to the finished garment. Teamed with gold accessories and flat ankle strap sandals, it creates a cool and stylish outfit. Isni Imran from Western Australia. This two-piece ensemble has taken a lot of precision handiwork to achieve its final product. The tube top has been constructed from calico and lined with a textured purple material. The cityscape on the front is completely original and painted with the use of heat sensitive puffing paint. Jade Cromwell from Tasmania. Jade's dress consists of 100% hemp and a fully lined fitted jacket made of a mixture of self dyed hemp and recycled fabrics. Jade had to construct a mannequin from packing tape and newspaper to assist her with the construction of the jacket. Kate Evans from Queensland. This outfit was inspired by the idea of making something that only Kate would have. It is completely unique. Ideas are taken from things that she thinks look good and then makes them herself. Tiffany Hone from Queensland. Tiffany's inspiration for this design is from the fabulous 40s and 50s and bringing old world glamour into today's fashions. The name Vina del Mar is from Tiffany's Spanish heritage and means vineyard by the sea, which shows this outfit as one that can go from cocktails to the beach. Laura Wilson from Tasmania. Laura has designed a vintage lace dress which can be dressed up or down, creating either a stunning cocktail dress or a casual outfit as seen today. Georgina McWilliam from New South Wales. A Rihanna Lingham jewellery piece consisting of a simple gold chain attached to a feather inspired this two-piece outfit consisting of a dress and matching two-piece swimsuit. Shayla Brown from Western Australia. Shayla's outfit is fun, comfortable, fashionable and unique. There are two pieces being a high-waisted fitted pair of denim shorts that sit comfortably below the bust and a white singlet with red, blue and antique buttons sewn on the strap. Helene Herbert from South Australia. Inspired by the brilliant colour of licorice all sorts, this creative blend of three bright and bold fabrics generates an edgy and stylish look. <laughs>